In the previous video, we looked at attachment type reference drawings. What we're going to look at this time is overlay type reference files. So you can see at the top of the screen, I've got overlays complete open. If you want to follow along with the video, you need to go to your working files and open up overlays.dwg. So what I'm going to do here is add my two reference files, my topography and my footprint. So I'm going to go up to the insert tab here on the ribbon, go to the reference panel and click on attach. And there's my dialog box. And as you can see, there's topography and there's the footprint foundation. So I'll add topography first and click on open. Now, as you can see, there's the preview. Scale will be 1, 1, and 1 for X, Y, and Z. Insertion point, X, Y, and Z will be 0, 0, and 0. Make sure the reference type is overlay this time. Path type, I'm going to have it as relative because I know that the XREF files are in the same folder as the host drawing, my current drawing. Rotation will be 0, block unit millimeters, click on OK. So you can see there that the topography has come into the current drawing, the host drawing. There's the unreconciled new layers. I'll just click on the little cross there to close that. OK, I'm going to add the footprint foundation as well. So back up to attach. There's the footprint foundation. I click on open. And same process as before. Make sure you've got overlay set here. Scale 1, 1 and 1 for X, Y and Z. Insertion point 0, 0, 0. Make sure that scale and insertion point are unticked. Path type, again, relative, because the XREF files are in the same folder as the current drawing. Rotation, zero, and unticked. Click on OK. And again, you'll get the unreconciled layers. Close the bubble by clicking on the cross. I'm just going to double click on the wheel there to zoom extent so that we can see everything in the drawing. Now, what I'm going to do now is click on Save. So I save my settings there in the Overlays Complete drawing. Now, that's all saved. What I'm going to do is create a new drawing and reference in all of this as an XREF into the new drawing. So what I might do here is actually physically close this drawing. So that will close. I've got no current drawings open. I click on New, and the Startup dialog box comes up. So I start from scratch, metric, and OK. So there's my blank drawing. Now, one thing I'm going to do straight away is save it. So I'm going to do a Save As. And I'll save it to the same folder. Now, we've already got a drawing called Overlays. So we need to be careful. I'm going to call this Overlay 001 so that I know the difference between the two. So just delete those bits there. Click on Save. So that is called Overlay 001. I'll just do a quick save like that just to make sure that the file name displays at the top of the screen. I'll go Attach now. And I'm going to attach my Overlays Complete. I'll click on Open. Now, you'll notice it's an overlay. Specify on screen, all the settings are the same, and I click on OK, and I double click, and you'll notice there's no topography and there's no footprint. That's because those reference files that I attached were overlay reference file types. Overlays don't display if you reference a reference. So that's the difference between an attachment type reference and an overlay type reference. When you do an overlay, when you reference the reference into another drawing, the first set of references aren't there. They don't show. Whereas if you do them as an attachment type reference, when you reference a reference, they do show. That's the difference between overlays and attachments when you're referencing in AutoCAD.